Hello and welcome to Meet Sector 7. My name is Rinzo and I'm going to talk about um, injecting Meterpreter session into a remote machine without touching disk. So um, some time ago I, I have posted a blog post on my, uh, on my website about uh, pure in-memory shellcode and code injection in Linux. So consider that you have com compromised a machine, uh, a victim machine, which is a Linux, and you have some, some sort of control channel to that machine. Uh, let's say it's just an SSH uh, session. So for example, you have um, stolen uh, credentials of the user on, on the victim machine or his uh, his SSH key. So what we only want, want to do is from the attacker machine using SSH uh, and uh, some in-memory injection techniques to inject our interpreter um, payload on the victim machine without storing any files on that uh, victim machine on on on, on the disk. And in the result, we should get the reverse session back to our uh, Metasploit console running on an attacker machine. So let's see the configuration. So on the left side, we have a attack, our attack machine. And the, the other uh, window is uh, our victim machine already running. Uh, let's say, so it's uh, dot 129 uh, IP address, okay. And here we have um, dot one. So the vacuum machine for, for this exercise is just a, um, a Kali Linux running in a, a VM. So first, what we need is let's start our uh, MSF console and configure it. So let's use exploit multi handler for payload, we will need Linux x64, um, interpreter, and let's say reverse, uh, reverse TCP. For IP address, so lhost is this one. For L port, let's set it up like this let's set exit on false and run it okay so our msf console and handler is running now let's generate our payload so we will use msf uh, venom linux uh, x64 meterpreter reverse TCP, lhost is set to this one, l port uh, format. We will need, uh, a sh uh, uh, let's see, use a raw format and download it to msf bin, save it into this file. Okay, now, now we have our uh, MSF uh, interpreter um, uh, payload in, um, in the file. So how now we need to, uh, to have um, some technique to use to upload that, uh, that payload straight into the memory of one of the processes running on a victim. So how we can do it? If you go to a blog post, there are a couple of techniques mentioned. And one of them is Python. So for Python, we're gonna be using uh, some script, wrapper script, which will take the payload, in, in our case, interpreter, and execute it in a memory. Okay, so let's do that. So uh, 
let's first view the source code of our um, our uh, Python wrapper. So we're going to be using C types uh, library, uh, which which allows you to call um, system calls directly from Python or maybe yeah or library uh, uh, library C library uh, function calls. So what are you gonna do? what we we are going to do here is we load up the C library or get the the the, the handler to it, then we get the pointer to mmap um, uh, function. And then what we are going to do is just to call mmap. So we, we create a new memory region in the process, which is readable, writable and executable. Okay. And then we uh, copy our shell code, which will be here into this new memory. And then we call this shellcode. Okay, so let's uh, convert our binary uh, meter meterpreter uh, payload <coughs> into into a string. So for that, we will use MSF uh, XXZ um, tool, and we need to make some changes. So good change lx into x to the end of line and remove new lines this and white space okay and let's add echo at the end all right so now we copy and we go again to our python We save it and now the question is how we deliver that to to the victim without storing it on the victim's disk to do that we can use command line so let's do this let's base 64 encode our um, our script okay so we take this copy and here what we do is we decode it on the fly and throw it into the Python okay so we do exact decode base 64 and our string goes here. So let's go to Metasploit and let's run it in the memory, okay, in the background. And here's our session. So we, if we go to session number one, get UID, UID, get bid, bid is uh, is 2442 that's the same one if config we are running on our victim machine and you can also check it here and P and here's our session so yeah this is how you can use um, uh, use Python and SSH to run your interpreter in memory only on a victim machine. You can find the link to the blog post in uh, uh, under the under the, below the video. If you liked the the video, uh, please subscribe to to the channel. Leave your comments below, and see you next time.